Hello, dear Odoers. Welcome to this video on financial reports. Like other businesses, Bloom must maintain accurate reports to meet legal obligations and to track its financial health. So let's see what we can do in Odoo. To start, let's open the accounting app and head to the reporting menu. As you can see, we have access to various reports from statement reports to management reports. Let's check our balance sheet first. And from here, we have an overview of all of our assets and our liability and equity. We can change the date here, for example, if we wanted the end of the year or of the previous year. We can also compare it to previous periods, such as the same period last year. And we can choose if we want to limit it to only specific journals, like our customer invoices, for example. We also have some computation and display options here, so we can see our draft entries and we could hide lines at zero. We also have the option to split horizontally to satisfy various regional display preferences. And then we have our rounding unit, so this will be decimals or full euros, and the type of balance sheet report. In our case, since this is a Belgian database, we have access to the Belgian specific report as well as the generic balance sheet. In your case, you'll have access to your country-specific report plus the generic report. In our balance sheet, we can also drill down by some account types, and we can even click on some links, such as this one, to jump to the profit and loss report, where, for the most part, we have the same report options at the top. Dennis, I see a budget option on the P&L report. What is that? Yes, you're right. So let's dive a little bit into this financial budget option and open our 2025 budget. We could, of course, create a new budget by typing a name here and clicking Create, but in this case, we'll continue with our 2025 budget. As you can see, a new column with the budget name has been added next to the balance information. We're going to set our calendar to this year. We'll eliminate the uh, journal and comparisons for now. And let's use the generic profit and loss report. So when we created the budget, we assigned amounts to each individual account that we wanted to analyze in this report. Then a percentage column to the right of the budget column displays the current status. So we've hid lines at zero, but let's switch to a monthly view and we're going to compare now with the two previous periods. So here we have January, February, and March of this year. And as you can see, the total budget is automatically divided by 12 for the months. And if I need to adjust our budget for a specific month, let's say for March here, then what we can do is click into it and we can edit it. Let's say we're expecting more for our a uh, new greenhouse opening party this weekend. We expect more revenue for this month. So I can update that amount. And then if I remove all comparisons and return to the yearly budget view, then we'll see that that budget amount has actually been updated automatically to reflect those changes. And if I click on the pencil next to the budget, then I can also make any changes here that I need to. So I could get rid of a month here, for example, and make any changes that we want to this budget. So we saw the Odoo accounting reports all share the same navigation philosophy. So if I go to our general ledger, then we can also drill down with our VAT payable here. And we can jump, in this case, to our journal items. And remember, you can always use the breadcrumbs here to go back to the previous report. So in this case, back to our general ledger. All right, now let's check out our journal audit report. Before you switch reports, is it possible to register these reports? Yes, you can always find the available file formats for downloading a report in the top left corner here. And you can also save reports by clicking on the gear icon and then copy to documents to save it to the documents app. All right, so let's now go to that journal audit report. And again, we can drill down on the different journals by opening up our customer invoices, for example. And we can click on to any of these accounts to view the different entries that are related to them. 
And of course, we could click onto any of these to see the details of these individual entries, but instead we'll go back to the journal audit report. And because of our localization, we also have a summary of all the impacted tax grids of the Belgian tax report. We have the base amount and the tax amount here. And if we click on audit next to taxes applied, we can view the accounts and we can drill down on sales in Belgium, for example, and access all of the journal entries that involve these taxes. And we can see the partners, we can see the amounts, all of that information. We can also change the income account if we need to. So for example, we could select multiple accounts, let's say, or multiple entries. If these two were wrong, we can change it to, let's say, the 701. We want this to be the sales in Belgium finished goods account. And now we can make that update for multiple journal entries. Well, that's how you can filter and navigate Odoo accounting reports. We hope you enjoyed this video. This has been your pal Dal. I'll see you in the next one.